Buddy, you're just in time for What's Hot. This is where we talk about those stories that have everybody talking. And today we're joined by Katie Klein from Belter and Lincoln. Plus, Jeff Wagner is always back with us mm -hmm. for a good one. All right, a mother in Utah with a special needs student is furious after her daughter was given pizza out of the trash can. She explains she had to eat it because she is diabetic. School officials say the employee gave her the pizza because they thought she had to have it with her insulin and took it out of the trash because she was late to lunch. Your thoughts on this one? Mm. Well, when, when I first saw the story, I thought that this is just dumb as a bag of hammers. Mm -hmm. I mean, how, how can you do this? So then, you know, you just went through the, the description, Shannon. She's apparently a special needs student who has trouble communicating her own needs. Um, she had just, she's type 1 diabetic, so just got an insulin shot, and then was apparently saying, well, I've just taken this insulin shot, I need the pizza. They didn't have the pizza, so they ended up giving it to her out of the trash can. Even having listened to that explanation, this is still dumb as a bag mm -hmm. of hammers on the part of the, the school officials. It's like, okay, you've got these special needs students. Mm -hmm. You have to anticipate what their needs exactly. are going to be, and you don't feed kids food out of the garbage. I, I, I question the, the decision-making process of everybody involved here mm -hmm. because it sounds like every single one of the adults that was around the child supported this decision. Yeah. What part of the process was like, yeah, we'll take the pizza out of the trash. Don't you have backup pizza ready for other students or something else to offer? Why do you automatically have to default to the piece of pizza in the garbage? It I, doesn't make sense. I totally agree with you. I couldn't, I can't believe that there was nothing prepared right. in the back that they could have brought out for this child. And even if she was saying, I want pizza, right. no, sweetheart, there is no well, pizza. This is what you get. It wasn't exactly. that she wanted pizza, is that the dose of insulin she took was appropriate for eating right. pizza and she had to have the food that matched up with the amount of drugs she had in her system. Well, here's so, the, but still, that doesn't explain right. him pulling it out of trash. Right. Right. And see, and that's the, 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 the story gets even weirder when you mm -hmm. find out that this just wasn't a lunch lady. Apparently, she has, she being the diabetic special mm -hmm. needs child, has a helper mm -hmm. that's there with her. Okay, well, uh, I mean, okay, if you're the helper for the diabetic special needs student, you, you should at least know a little bit about the issue of type 1 diabetes and be able to figure out, okay, there's no pizza here. What, what else? else? Can we get her? Can we get her a cheese mm -hmm. sandwich? I don't claim well, to know. But let's, say, right. let's say they exactly. do that and she goes into some type of diabetic shock because, you know, they gave her the wrong food. We'd be here talking about another problem that they didn't give her the food she was supposed to have that went with the amount of insulin she had in her body. But then everybody should have ate pizza out of the trash can <laughs> then. You know, would you have eaten a slice of pizza out of the trash can? I wouldn't. No. Have. Even if it would have met, I still think there should have been a dietitian on board to say, okay, this is what we can match up with your insulin. Well, and her superior, too, should be privy to more information. So exactly what Jeff said, is there something else that's available? And what's the backup if pizza's not available? What else can she have? She knows what can be consumed mm -hmm. and what can't be. I'm she also, should have stuck I'm up. I'm also curious. Anybody ever seen pizza in a cafeteria these days? Uh, no. no. It it's is been in decades. a plastic container uh -huh. with a piece, of, a piece of cling film over the top. Okay. And they're kind of heated up individually. So uh -huh. I'm wondering, was this thing wrapped in the trash? Uh -uh, or was no. it just sitting even, on top? Even if it was matter. a five-second yeah. rule, I would not have appreciated <laughs> my child getting a piece of pizza out of the trash. There are right. maggots in the trash, Steve. All right. That's nasty. <laughs> Coming up next, <laughs> we're going to reveal the viewer's choice topic today. And of course, Michael Fish will always be back with us on a look at that ooh, ooh, foggy, foggy forecast. Time for more of What's Hot, and it is the viewer's choice topic of the day. Again, we're joined by Katie Klein and Jeff Wagner from 620 WTMJ. The viewer's choice topic today. By now, we have seen hundreds of videos online of people taking the ice bucket challenge to help spark awareness and donations in the fight against ALS. Do you think this will help the fight against ALS in the long run? I do. I do think it will because we've raised already more than $40 million in the short period of time that this reinvigorated campaign has launched. So while we might not ever find a, an actual cure, the research has more dollars behind it. The, the treatment has more dollars behind it. So I do think that this is all going to obviously a great cause and will benefit in the long run. Yeah, the, the beef about this is that a lot of the people who are doing this are supposedly doing it for, for themselves. It's mm -hmm. the idea of here, they, they, don't, they don't know about the charity, they don't care about the charity, they just want to be, you know, filmed, you know, dumping ice water over their head. To which I say, well, okay, there's a certain percentage that does that, but who cares? You're right, Katie, it's raised millions and millions mm -hmm. and millions of dollars. I talked about this on the radio yesterday. It's interesting. A guy called up and he said his 11 year old son, who's never thought about anything charitable at all, he and all his friends are asking about what ALS is and they're getting involved. I, I just don't see a downside to this. I think mm -hmm. it's a great idea. And I think a lot of charities are probably going, boy, I wish we thought of this. I, I completely agree. And this is one of the things in recent 
memory that has really brought everybody together. It doesn't, you know, decide by race or gender or culture or anything. Everybody wants to participate no matter the age and wherever they're from. So it's so great to see that people are coming together for a great cause, especially considering all of the horrible things that are taking place right now in our world. Now you've done this, haven't you? I have not, but if I did do this, I would be challenging you, Jeff how, Wagner. How could Katie mm. Klein seriously not have done this with I, all the people you know? I'm stunned. Well, I'm just as stunned that you haven't as well. So perhaps <laughs> you and I need to do it together hey, and Jeff, then we'll oh, both make a, a contribution. Video. Jeff. I'll I'll do it. Jeff, I'm interested, I'm interested for your take on this. Uh, I, I thought it was funny that we had Sheriff Clark challenge Chief Flynn and Chief Flynn challenge Alderman Donovan. <laughs> Is this the ice bucket challenge becoming <laughs> passive aggressive? <laughs> you, think, you, you think that might be it? You're, aren't you supposed to pick like friends or something like yeah. that? Yeah, frenemies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Try to get their attention. Yep. I'm, right, I'll still do time. it, Wagner, if you're in. <laughs> we haven't been challenged. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, well, let's put it in someone's <laughs> ear. All right, it is now time for our lightning round. The Packers are playing their third preseason game tonight against the Oakland Raiders. The game is considered a dress rehearsal for the regular season. Do you think that the Packers will make it into the playoff season? We're going to talk about this even before the mm -hmm. season begins. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm already trying to make arrangements to get my playoff tickets. I'm, oh. I, I'm telling you, anytime you've got a team with Aaron Rodgers, you, you avoid having him get hurt. This is a team that's going to win 12 games. Mark the tape. 12 games this 12 year. Games 12 is. games it is. Okay. 12 games, okay. 12 games. Katie? I think we'll make the playoffs. I'm thinking 10 or 11 games, but I think we might have a difficult stretch because we do have a harder season this year. We don't have a cakewalk as we may have had in past seasons. So, you know, as long as we can keep everybody healthy and no major injuries tonight, come on now, I think we have a really great shot. And, you know, Julius Peppers, let's make sure he performs. I think the North is going to be really competitive this yeah. season, more so than years past. Even Minnesota's not going to be that big of a pushover. This well, year. As long as the Bears have Jay Cutler, the Packers are going to be just fine. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's make him cry. <laughs> it makes me so happy to see him cry, <laughs> even in memes. <laughs> Poor Jay Cutler. Cuddy don't really. care. No. Aww. Cuddy don't care. But what's no. hot discussion will continue online. Find it at tmj4.com slash hot. Happy Friday. Thank you both. You bet. Thank you.